And before we go tonight, there are some sporting events that are so bizarre it's hard to look the other way. Think of those man versus horse races. There's very little purpose and the outcome is rarely in doubt. Still, our Mike Durley just couldn't resist the annual running of the pugs in Toronto, where more contestants run in figure eights than reach the finish line. You have to be a dog owner to understand woof stock, rows upon rows of everything dog, inflatable cones of shame, treadmills made for poochie, and the reason I'm walking the floor on this day, a prize race for pugs. You see, it might not be the smallest, but he's the hungriest. That's my pony in the race, Marmaduke. Four and a half years old, a 30 pound snacking terror. He's fast, but he's big. Unlike four year old fashionista Bruce, named for Batman's alter ego, Bruce Wayne. He chases ball all the time. And if you look, he's pretty, he's relatively thin for a pug. Then there's Marvin and his hockey dad. Slow for a dog, fast for a pug, but motivated. A lot of time in the dog park. He didn't have ice cream yesterday. He usually has ice cream on Saturday, so. He's so he's hungry. Ready. He's hungry. Two-year-olds Billy and Bonnie would have to be considered long shots. That's their uh, winter wear. They're cute and mystifyingly decked out in leopard prints. Are your pugs fast? Um, that remains to be seen. But the pre-race favorite has to be Molly, a pug crossed with a terrier. Performance enhancing arguments aside, Molly's owners just plumb want to win. Why are you carrying her? She's tired and I don't want her to wear herself out. Wow, but you really want to win. <laughs> Amazingly, there are over 80 such stories here for the annual running of the pugs. It's a short race, no turns, and considering the contestants, not a sprint either. Treats at the finish line are as essential as the pugs themselves. Otherwise, this happens. The racing was confusing. Marmaduke won a spot in the finals. But clearly, he wasn't as hungry. No, 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 don't eat anybody else's food. The confusing end led to a two-pug duel. Which Keto took. His reward? A plaque and a year's supply of treats, which he's already starting to dig into.